Hello to my queens, hello to my kings, hello my brothers and sisters, welcome. Before I get started, I want to give all honor to the Most High God, the infinite creator, all-knowing source, source within. Well, I'm home on my deck. When you're living in an apartment, you don't have the luxury to just, to just walk out in your backyard, but this is my backyard. I take advantage of it every time and get out here and reflect and meditate. And I go for walks. With this video right here, please know your sister I'm, I'm pretty much learning like many of you, trials and error, all right? And I speak from my experience, my testimony. That's the best way and that's all I know. Everybody, background and experiences are different, right? And the way they, you know, we all think different. But let me just say this from my viewpoint, all right? May the words come out of my mouth may someone receive it in love and this oh i'm going to call it a nugget because this is what i have learned all right on my spiritual journey and it, it has truly helped me tremendously and blessed me all right for those who have ears to hear you know just because i make video it doesn't mean i don't watch other people video you know, um, like I said, when, whatever you're going through, as far as on your spiritual journey, it's good to connect with other people who are uh, spiritual, like-minded, like you are, you know. Um, it's, it's nice to receive confirmation, especially when somebody speaks from that place that you can relate, all right? And, you're sensing, and you are sensing within your being that, yeah, you know, you know that, that brother is speaking to me, that sister is speaking to my spirit, you know. And I'm not, I'm not saying your mind, all right, how you think. I'm saying speaking to your spirit. Sometimes when I watch other people's videos that are having similar experiences as myself, like many of you, you know, it, it's a natural thing to do. We like to sometimes you know, scroll down and check out the comments. Just to get an idea to see how other people are thinking. You know, because um, everybody's not going to agree with you, you know. And a lot of times people like to just scroll down and, you know, um, just get a feel for how other people perceive you, shall I say. And um, I would notice when I check out other people's videos, A lot of people, um, and, and I'm not say this in love, not not to judge. Every time I get real deep, it come a flame. But anyway, I say this in love, not to judge. All right, I'm sure many of you can sense me being sincere. All right, I say this as far as being someone who's being observant, all right? And uh, just like many of you are observant, all right? You pay attention to details and, you know, to other people, you know? Um, I notice in certain people's videos, when I read the comment section, um, you would have certain people, you know, uh, disagreeing. And it's okay to disagree. It sometimes, well, there's no sometime in it. There needs to be balance. There needs to be balance. But a lot of people, instead of them leaving a comment and saying, I don't agree, hopefully they'll say it in love. That's a way to say anything. You know, they might put a thumbs down. And when it comes to a thumb down, you don't really know what that means. You don't know if that person thinks you're full of shit. They don't believe you. Um, or... Um, they just don't agree with you. You don't really know what a thumb down mean, all right? Maybe it could be they just happen to click on your page and, you know, they're like, oh, oh, what is this? You know, I ain't trying to hear this, you know, and they just put a thumbs down for whatever reason. It's either that 
or what it makes you like this they will waste their precious energy to disagree with you or whatever and thumbs down or they would write uh, 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 a comment in disagreement which is something wrong with that but it's the energy behind the comment is so negative you know, uh, they put a lot of energy, you know, just to be negative instead of speaking from that place of love. Um, because I, I've read a lot of many comments people have left on other people's videos, even my own. They disagree in love, and you can sense it. You know, I know I can. It never fails, family. Every time I started, really, really started to express myself here come a plane I know I can sense the energy you know from people comments you know whether it is just from a place of being sincere from a place of love uh, even from a place of being concerned you know or just speak from a place of just operating on their lower self you know wasting all that precious beautiful energy the most high God has given them and they choose to operate on their lower self and be negative and just call your names and you don't know why they call your names I guess like I say because they don't agree some people it's hard for them to express themselves so they just let it rip I can understand that I think we all can relate to that from our old selves you know a lot of us are going through a rebirth you know to where we're growing from those old ways but I can relate to it. I just find it kind of interesting looking back, even in my life, you know, a lot of the precious energy that I was wasting being negative, wasn't, I wasn't really expressing myself in the best way. Um, I wasn't really thinking before I speak, shall I say. You know, I was just pretty much operating on my emotions. But thanks be to the Most High God who loved me and made me where I was. And looking back on my life, no matter how I got to this place, having a dark light of the soul, the Most High God took His hands off of me. And I'm grateful he did. I, I'm grateful he did, you know, because had he not, I would have never known how real the spirit realm really was. You know, it's one thing to hear about it. Many people write books about it. Even the word, the Bible talks about the spirit realm. It's one thing to read about something or to watch pe videos of people who do a lot of research and they talk about their research but they, but they have not had any experience whatsoever but to have an experience is priceless even if, if it seems to you it was negative the most high God out of something that seemed like it was chaos he's giving you a testimony that testimony brings light to somebody who's going through something they can relate and they won't feel alone and them watching you lets them know, oh yeah, I can't overcome this. This is what this sister did to overcome. You know, she's giving me something to think about. Maybe I do need to reflect and look at my life and start renewing my mind. Think a little different. Get my heart and my mind lined up. Getting back to people leaving negative comments. And I'm not talking about comments as far as disagreeing. You know, it's okay to disagree. But we can disagree in a loving way. You know, just see what you have to say, you know, and let it go. I'm the kind of person, when I look at people's video, whether I agree or not, I don't leave comments. And the comments that I do leave, they're positive. I don't waste my energy being negative, okay? Uh, that reflects on me. You know, that, that affects me. You know, that lowers my vibration. That's me putting out too much of the energy the most high God has given me, that life force being negative, you know. I see it for what it is. And I think the most high God for allowed me to see it for what it is. And I know everybody don't think the way I think. 
I'm just speaking from a place of trials and error and learn from my experiences as far as having a spiritual awakening, you know, it has really helped me to think differently as far as having life reviews and reflecting on my life. I can't speak for nobody else's life. But I get tickled when I read the comments and people just calling people out of their names and saying they're stupid, they don't crack and whatever name that they want to use and instead of them speaking as far as you know from that place of staying, sticking to the topic you know they talk about other things you're like what you know did you read the topic of this video i mean did you read the title of the video you know were you listening you know let's speak on that I just get tickled about it because I know they know what I know. Lord forgive them for they for they know not what they do. It's not let me go inside <laughs> so you can hear me clearly. Alright family, I decided to come back in so you can hear me with clarity, shall I say. Hear me real good. Um, I think about when Christ said in the word, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. I really understand that statement. I really understand it so much. Then, I was like, okay. But it's a different okay now. It's like, oh, I get it. You know, it's like a light bulb. I get it. You know, let me just say my understanding of that, how I've learned about vibration and frequency, all right? This energy, this energy that is within inside of us, all right? We all are from source. And like I've said in my old past videos, the spirit realm knows what's going on over here. It's like a mirror image, all right? You just cannot see with these kernel eyes, you know? But they see what's going on over here. And when I say they, I mean the Most High God Rod and his staff, you know, um, dimensional beings, all right? ET, whether they are benevolent or not benevolent, all right? Benevolent is good. It's on a higher dimension, all right? They're, they're operating on a higher frequency, non-benevolent, you know, they're, they're on the lower uh, dimensions. Uh, you get what I'm going. Lower frequency, okay? But if you're matching that frequency, you just might encounter one. All right? Especially when your spiritual defenses are, are lowered. But people who don't have a sense of knowing what I know now, okay? Because I was there, all right? So I, I, I get why people do what they do. They're creating bad karma for themselves because this source energy is really love, okay? But all we know is that, you know, we have this life force that is within us. You know, we all have free will down here. And what we do, you know, affects our reality. How we think affects our reality. It also, you know, that energy, you know, whether we raise it or we lower it, that's your, our vibration. You know, all of this shapes your reality as far as what you're seeing outwardly. And just to waste that precious energy being negative. Oh, it affects the other person if they receive what you're saying. That means they're going to respond and be on your level. Even if they're up here, they're bringing their vibration down. They're responding to you, but they're wise. They won't say a word. Silence is golden. Silence is everything. Like someone once said, you cannot argue with a fool because that fool, it can be two ways, you know. Back and forth, it gets you nowhere. Peace be still. I'm always seeing within myself when I find myself getting riled up. Peace be still within me. Because if not, 
I operate on their level and operate on my shadow self. That's right, I said my shadow self. We all have one. It's just a matter of balancing that which is inside of us. You know, we have that beautiful, you know, when we are operating on a, on a higher vibration and we're operating in love and our thoughts and our heart lines up, you know, when your spiritual eyes awaken, you know, you will see how the Most High God sees you. You will see yourself in a luminous light body. But your third eye awaken, and you're operating on your lower self. At that time, it has awakened and you're able to see within yourself, you will see. I don't have to say no more. You get what I'm going with this. You see your shadow self. And not just your shadow self, you will see a whole lot of other shadows, all right? Shadow's not really a bad thing. It's pretty much the perception of it. Uh, like I said in my other video, I had to learn, according to my higher self letting me know, turn around. It's one thing to see inside yourself, if you're seeing something shadowy, turn around. A lot of times it's, it's behind you because the source light, when you go within yourself, is, is reflecting off you just like the sunlight out here in this realm. So that's why a lot of things look shadowy. Turn around and see what's behind you. There's been times when I wasn't in a good place, my experience, my testimony, I was seeing, like what some people have said, uh, a shadow being the head of hat on his head all right who wants to see that because i've heard a lot of stories about that who wants to see that what they call a hat man or whatever um there's been time i would see a woman that would smile at me wickedly with ugly teeth and you know she would her energy was negative i could pick up on the energy all right her energy was negative as well as a person that was shadowy that had a hat on their head their energy was negative i didn't want them close to me I'm just trying to give you an idea what I'm what I'm coming from. Some sh some shot, and then I also come across reptilians. All right, they come off a lot of times, you know, um, showing themselves. All right, I'm going to speak I'm going to speak about that real quick also, but I don't want to switch the subject subject real quick. But let me just say, uh, when it comes to the shadow, you have to face the shadow to really get an idea of of what negative and what's not you know negative you know but for the most part you can sense the energy that's a plus but always turn around when you're seeing the shadow turn around within yourself all right and face that don't just look at it and assume that it's negative all right and when i speak about that we all have a shadow self within us we do because it's a balance you know yin and yang is a balance inside of us it's how the most high god see us if, he, if, if we're not in a good light you know if we're not representing the most high which is of love you know, if we're operating on a lower vibration, where you're gonna see you're gonna see more of your shadow self. If you wanna see your arm, raise your arm up when you're in that ram. Raise your arm up. What do you see? Do you see yourself a luminous looking uh like a light body? Or do yourself or do you see yourself kind of shadowy looking? That's a sign. This is what's going on within you. There's a lot of chaos that's going on within you. You need to work on it. Work on your energy. Work on what you're putting out, all right, to the universe out here in this realm. Work on it. So that way, and that's one way of knowing, work on it. So when you go within yourself and you want to see your arm, you raise it up. You will know when you're on track. You will know when you're on track. It's how the Most High God sees you, where you are in the present. And I say that in love. I had to learn this, family. That's why I'm speaking about it. And like I said, we can fool everybody, but we cannot fool the sun, all right? We cannot fool the sun. Even That's why a lot of times I like to, you know, make my videos. Um, it's, so, it's cloudy outside, you know, it's like it's, the sun is shining and then it's being blocked due to the clouds. But I love to come out here and film so you can get an idea of what colors are bouncing off your sister, all right? But this sun like you know it, it is tell it like it is all right it, it's bouncing off your energy it's, it's bouncing off you and uh it will let you know definitely where you are vibrationally you don't need nobody to tell you the sunlight will definitely tell you all right it will tell you just take the time to get out in nature and you know let the sun do its magic 
whether you sun gaze or getting some of that sunlight in you. Let me see. I'm not gonna make this video long. I'm trying to chop everything up. Um, just, but just giving you something to think about. I mean, as you see, you know, with this video, um, I really want to put this out there because it's so important. You know, people think when, when it comes to the word forgiveness, that's a sign of weakness. But you know what? And the Bible talks about it too. Forgiveness is you being victorious. When you forgive somebody or you get to that place where you can't forgive them, you've already won the battle. That person have no control over you. The change come off. The mental change about how you perceive and how you think about them, those chains come off, all right? When you see them, you're no longer being bitter, you know, having ulcers and high blood pressure and cancer in your body. See, that reflects you. See how that energy, you know, instead of you uh, forgiving and, and, and trying to allow love to come in you, see how that energy, it's all about the energy family, the source energy that is within us. You know, it can be for us or against us, but... You know, it is us, you know, we can't, we can't blame source, we have to blame ourselves. It is us that have to renew our mind, you know, and see things differently. You know, not so much of how we were taught or I had to say this program, you have to see things differently and experience is your best teacher. When you get to that place, thanks be to the most high God for allowing many of us, our spiritual eyes to awaken it. Oh my goodness, how it tells you, how it shows you the truth within Oh my goodness, no matter what man say, the truth is within. The, the words come out of my mouth, it's because of what I have experienced going within myself. Oh my goodness. Not only do you receive downloads when you're sun gazing, all right, from the universe, from the sun, but you also receive downloads when you're meditating as well. You may not think you are, but you are because you start, you know, all of a sudden, having this epiphany and you're thinking different, you know. Um, having all these new ideas. That's coming from within. You know, we got the your higher self, you know, the rod and I staff, you know, the family of light. You know, your angels, all of them talking to you. You know, even, you know, your ancestors, they're all talking to you, you know. Trying to help you. But you got to let them in. You got to be open to receive. That's why I say when you meditate, set your attentions. But forgiveness is powerful, family. You know, it doesn't make you weak. It makes you strong. It makes you victorious, all right? And it also increases your vibration, all right? Because you're not operating on your lower self, you know? What you're doing, you're allowing yourself to heal. You say, I forgive you. But I know it's not easy. Everybody, background is different. Experiences are different. You know, what's been done to you was not done to me. What was done to me was not done to you. But I pray you get to that place of uh, forgiving because when you do, the chain that person has on you, it comes off. It comes off, all right? And you have won the battle. You're creating good karma for yourself, all right? Your vibration is increasing. And when they see you, boy, they see you glowing. They see you moving on, and even when you look at them, you can say, how you doing? Good to see you, bye. But you're not bitter. That bitterness affects you. In this life, you know, we're growing and we're learning from our experiences. But a lot of people are not learning from their experiences. They're going in circles. I'm constantly praying for my brothers and sisters who choose to go in circles, who, ch who think that for forgiving someone is weak. There ain't nothing weak about it. That's you taking your power back. My next video, I'm going to do one about reptilians, all right? This is something that I have, um, I like to talk about, all right? And um, that's all I'm going to say. So I love you in Christ. I thank you for checking your sister out. I don't say this all the time, but I'm going to say it. Please like, subscribe, and share, all right? Um, you being my viewers and, you know... You, you know, supporting my channel by watching, you know, um, that's priceless for me because I'm giving back. 
of myself, you know, and the most high God gets the glory out of my life. And this is purpose, all right? That I know somebody's going to receive what I'm saying. Somebody's going to be blessed. And somebody's going to take this nugget and apply it. Ask and you shall receive. Somebody has received something today from this message. But my next video, I'm going to talk about, um, briefly about reptilians. Um, not from a place of I know it all. No, no, no. Just what I, you know, as far as conversating with my higher self, I'm getting more understanding about this. Uh, because before, I didn't have a better understanding, but I, I, I have a little more understanding about it. But it's going to be a briefly. That will be on my next video. Uh, and I want to say this real quick. Um, <laughs> we know that nine is a number of completion. I feel like somebody needs to hear this. I'm the kind of person when I know something, I share it, all right? I don't, I don't keep my fists closed, all right? I don't keep this closed all the time. You know, I opened up because, you know, got to keep that energy flowing. Keep that energy flowing. We know that number nine is the number of completion. So if we know that, let's operate this number nine when we are in a prayer, when we are meditating, all right? Uh, I don't care if you meditate for 20 minutes. As long as you're meditating, you're making the effort. My queens, my kings out there. No matter what you're going through, if you're looking for change, all right, um, whatever it is that you have been doing, if it's not working, try this, because this has been working for me. And I'll speak about it more later on another day, on another video. Nine is the number of completion. Like Christ said, it is finished. But I, that's what I think about when I think about the number nine. When you're in meditation, like I always say, set your attentions, all right, what you are believing for. Say within yourself, all right? Whatever it is that you're believing for, say it nine times. After that, don't say it anymore, all right? Because you operate in faith. Say it nine times. I receive this as confirmation. Say it nine times. And when you're through saying whatever it is that you're believing for, all right? Or whatever it is that you're going through. Put it out there. When you go within yourself, you still you still put it out you still putting it out there into the universe, all right? Everything is not always out here. You have to go within yourself. The change starts within yourself. See it nine times within yourself. Like for instance, this is just an example. You're someone that uh you feel like you're not grounded, all right? You feel like you know you don't you don't you don't feel grounded and you and you, and you don't feel whole. Say I am grounded, I am whole, I am healed nine times. After that, just start praising source within. Just start praising source within. While you're saying it, also visualize it in here. Visualize it. Also, even if you're not feeling it, think of something that's honest, pure, and true, like the words say, Think about a baby, you know, that makes you smile, you know. You have to put a feeling to it. Think about flowers, your favorite flower. You get what I'm going with this? Put some emotion to it on the inside, you know. Think about that infant, you know, your first child. You know, how it made you, how it made you feel, my queens, you know, when you saw your baby for the first time. How did it make you feel, my king, when you kissed your queen for the first time or, you know, you first fell in love? Put that feeling with it. All right. That's just this is just an example. Say set your attentions. Say it nine times what you are believing for. After that, start praising the Most High God. Just get in a, just get in a state of gratitude and praising Him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. You want to say that nine times? That's fine too. But just be in a state of gratitude and let it go. Don't, 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 don't put no emphasis on it. Don't put no more energy on it. Let it go. You're releasing it to the Most High God, the universe. You're releasing it. You're putting it in His hands and going about your business. Go about your day and watch the beautiful magic happen. Now, let me say this. Will it work for everybody? I cannot say that. I know it's working for me. 
what I would suggest you do, start working on yourself. Get your thoughts and your heart lined up. Raise your vibration and start doing this right here. You'd be surprised how your reality, that which you are believing for, how it starts to manifest out here in this realm. I don't care if you've been bullied at school or somebody messing with you. You know, say I am power, love, and sound mind nine times. You know, say I am fearfully, wonderfully made, you know, or I'm the head, not the tail. Whatever it is that you want to say, say it nine times. Put some feeling to it and visualize it and let it go. And praise on the inside. This will increase your vibration. I mean, if you want your spiritual eyes to awaken, do this three times. I would suggest three times daily, all right? Just get in a quiet place. Whether you, whether you meditate laying down or if you stand up, get in a quiet place. Give source your time. Go within. Give the most high God your time, all right? You have to nurture this on the inside, all right? We're so busy about this outside appearance, thinking outside got to be all this and that. With inside, you're torn from the flow up. Let's, let's nurture this on the inside because it will start to show outwardly. I love you in Christ. I really do. All right? You're my kings, my queens out there because I'm definitely a queen. I don't have to say it. You are who you say you are. Peace and love and blessings to you all and pass the torch. Oh, yeah. And please know I do do readings, all right? I don't put this out there all the time. You know, it's a matter of choice. But when many of you are ready, please know you're supposed to do readings, all right? And I make sure I'm surrounded with source that's around me, all right? And, you know, when you are ready, contact your sister. And I, will, I do um, relationship readings, all right, as well as spiritual chart readings. And um, for somebody who just won't. Uh, clarity about questions, whatever's going on with you um, for questions. You know, like I said, just hit me up. Just hit me up and I will give you the information, all right? I'm just putting it out there um, because I, I'm definitely open, you know, to do some readings, all right? You know, try to get, get your sister, you know, when, when I'm open, all right? Peace and love to you all and bye for now. There's nothing like clarity. There's nothing like clarity. <laughs>